This is Deputy County Manager Damian Sanders Pratt. Uh, Mr. Um, Sanders Pratt, can you talk to us about the new features in the new courthouse? Sure, so it accomplishes a couple of things. Uh, one is the access uh, is separated from the public to those who are in custody to the courthouse staff. The only time that they meet collectively is in the courtroom. And then after uh, the court proceedings, the courthouse staff can go back to the back of house corridors. The, uh, those in custody are in a secure detention space. And the general public goes back out into the lobby area where they have access to the general parts of the building. Uh, we've also uh, tried to put the uh, busiest floors, activity floors, at the lowest levels. So the courtroom floors are two and three, and then the clerk of court's general customer service space is on the first floor. And then the courtrooms on the first floor are traffic court, which is very busy, as well as admin court, what they call admin court, which is also a very busy space to keep the public from going through the building as, as much as possible. Okay, now are taxpayers getting their money's worth for this new project here? So the 1970s Hall of Justice building has a, a number of problems. It does not have uh, adequate distinction between public space, back of house space, and those in detention. So you can have clashes between those different uh, audiences, it, it's not safe. Um, also, the courtrooms are dispersed on a number of floors in the uh, current Hall of Justice, whereas in this building, the primary courtroom floors are two and three, and then there's limited courtroom space on one, which allows uh, better, uh, easier access to secure those floors, where you're not spread, your resources aren't spread throughout a, a seven-story Hall of Justice building. So in that sense, I feel like they are getting their money's worth. Also, uh, there's a secure connection between the detention center and the uh, new courthouse, where those in custody are in secure detention space all the way from uh, a cell at the detention center to the courtroom in the new courthouse. Whereas today, that's not the case. There's a transportation fleet of vans that, that go four or five blocks between the uh, Hall of Justice and the detention center on unsecure streets, which also is not uh, the most optimal situation. So to resolve those issues, among others, uh, I think that the public is getting uh, their money's worth, particularly with respect to security, and then this building will last presumably for 50 to 75 years. So we can divide the cost of the building over that, and it's not as bad as it might seem otherwise. All right, thank you.